Welcome, my friend, Seven Gray here. Thank you for joining me for this episode today. I've received many comments in my YouTube videos asking for an update on my AC install, a fully solar-powered AC install that I began, oh, probably six or seven weeks ago, and that I have sort of made progress on, but I'm stuck in a few areas. So today's episode, I'm going to give you an update on where things stand on my AC install. Last episode, I had cut the box and prepared to put the AC unit in. I got it to look about like what you see now, and then I discovered that the AC unit I had was defective, that the fan itself, the uh, fan unit inside the shroud, was binding and clipping on the edges as the blades of the fan would spin around. So what I had to do was I sent that back to Amazon and I got a replacement. So this is the replacement AC unit, exact same unit, which I'll put a link down below in case you want to check it out. I chose this particular unit because it is a EcoStar, I think is the name of it, super friendly for low power use and has what's called a soft startup so that's one of the keys here is that it is a low power draw as the compressor kicks in and the thing starts going so that's one of the main things you have to look for this consumes about 410 watts per hour and it's a soft start so that it doesn't draw too much power out of a battery bank or to overwhelm a inverter. So those are the couple of things that you want to look for in getting a unit and that's why this particular one is ideal. This is 5000 BTU which is plenty sufficient for the space inside of the step van here. In the last episode I shortened this shelving unit here which you can see all my supplies on and shortened that down so that I could put the AC unit on top and then I cut a slot so that it can fit in here around inside of the box and then I created a like a foam door that goes here which I labeled with left and right and up and put a little handle on which you can see here so that I can insert this in the place and seal this off so this looks like a great design, but it's actually not so great because the airflow from the vent on the outside comes in and is great enough to kick this out. So I need to get some sort of latch mechanism to hold this into place. But there are a couple of other complications that need to be addressed first. Back here you can see the vent on the outside to allow air to come into this box, which is foam filled on every side except for this side here and then the AC is mounted at a slight angle. I have a pan underneath to catch drips, which I've not seen yet. So the question is, how does this AC work? And now that I actually have a working AC unit in here, I was able to test it. And it powers up, no problem at all. There's no clicking, it operates and functions fantastic. But there are some complications here, and that's due to my lack of knowledge of the physics involved in how an actual AC unit works. And what I didn't know was about the air intake, the outflowing air, and where it goes. So let me explain what I've learned in the time since I've installed this with this particular build, and why this particular box design is not truly effective. Let me explain. Prior to building this, my understanding of AC units was that air came in from the back in this area here, was sucked inside to a fan, and then it would blow the cold air out the front. And while that is true, there is an extra component that I didn't realize was going to be a problem. Let me explain. So, the air intake actually comes from the side vent here, and from the top, there's a vent up on top here, and the other side, which is back around there, which you can't quite see. So that's the air intake area. What I didn't know is you have two points where the air exits. You have the cold air, which comes out the front here, out of these vents on the top. And, more important, on the back side here, this is all an exit point for hot air. So the hot air needs to come out here and exit to the outside. 
Well, the problem with a single box unit design like I've done here, which this is normally closed in, is that your hot air is exiting here and just going around and being sucked back in to the air intake. So this blows cold air for about one or two minutes and then all of a sudden you have hot air getting sucked back inside and then it just quits being effective. So what I need to do is come up with a design that allows the hot air to exit to the outside and be isolated and closed off with a separate venting system from the air intake. So this particular design is not going to work and I need to redesign my system. So there's a couple of options I can go with here on the design change. I can mount this with a hole and this hanging out the back side of the step van so that the entire back end is exposed to the exterior air very much as this was intended to be used. That's probably the simplest and easiest option. I'll probably go that particular direction. The other option is to keep the box design like I have right now and cut an extra vent in the back and create some sort of ducting system that comes off the back side to go out the back to vent it there. My concern is that I still have to deal with the condensation and drip pan below and a drain system there. And it may be easier just to go with option number one so that everything's on the exterior so that I just don't have to deal with any of that. It's just simple, no muss, no fuss, and just moving forward. So anyway, I'm pondering which direction to go. I'd love to hear your comments, your thoughts, and designs there. By the way, yes, I have seen the video from uh, Jim in Denver where he has the exact same unit and his box design and how he put that on the side of the van. So that's something else that I've also looked at and considered. I just don't know if I want to go that particular direction. Love to see your comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Savor the moment and I'll see you in a future video.